Hey guys, Jake here with my bring back, continuing our series with the basics of Apple app development for the iPhone and iPad. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, go back, take a look, kind of does some introduction to the Xcode 4 and some of the basic functions and where to find and use some of the Xcode, Xcode 4 functionality. So double check that and, uh, and we can go on from here. So what we're going to go over today is we're going through some of the basic components of the, av the actual app development. The previous series we went through kind of uh, calculations, buttons, text fields, etc. In this particular tutorial, we're going to go through the alert window, basically the alert that comes up on an iPad, iPhone, etc. That we can display information, and then we can also give the user um, choices to decide, select, and uh, move forward with. So in this, uh, what we're going to do just for demonstration's sake is put in a basic text field, similar to these up here in which they could put in values that calculate and give you a label to uh, show the total but we're going to throw in a text field and the next to it we're going to put in a button resize the button a little bit bigger and we're just going to call this display alert and so this button is basically going to be our action that tells whatever's in this text box here to display in an alert window. So that's kind of the basic what we're doing in this uh, tutorial series. So after you've got your text field here and then a button, we're going to go into the header file up here and we're going to declare the outlet and the action that we're putting in place. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to copy and paste in the IB outlet. And uh, so we're declaring the IB outlet as a UA text field and we're giving it the uh, the name here of alert text, the variable name. And so after the, you've, you've established your IB outlet, your text field that we put on the screen, next we're going to actually put in the IB action, the button that we've established, and declare that as well. And with this, I've got an additional step here. And you'll see here after I copy this in. And uh, the additional here is, is this property. And with the property, we're basically exposing this outlet to a specific um, property here. So this outlet here that we've that we've established, we're giving it a property value, and uh, that'll come into play as we actually implement the uh, the method behind the action and uh, the relationship there. So for now, don't worry about this. It's a little bit more advanced, but uh, you will need this to uh, move forward. So this property here, as you can see, an alert popped up here, and it's basically saying this requires a method to be defined as synthesized, and that's what we'll go into next here. All right, so after you've declared both your outlet and your action with your property here, we're going to go over to uh, back over to the interface, and we're going to hook those up first. And so again, with the actions, you're uh, holding control and dragging from the action to your file owner, and we're saying the button clicked is the ID ID that we want to establish for this button here and then uh, for the outlet we're going to be dragging from the file owner to the outlet and we're going to say this is the name we've established for you let's assign it to you now alright so after you've done that we're going to go into the implementation and set up how we're actually going to define where the alert box um, comes into play as it's as the actions established the uh, the alert will show up on the screen and so again I'm just gonna copy and paste and then explain it here um, so after your last action or even right after the implementation here we're just gonna give ourselves a little bit of room and then I'm gonna paste in this section here and so here we've got the synthesize which attaches to the property function that we've already established and with that we're just again we're exposing it to the properties and bringing it back into our implementation a little bit further ahead than we are now but uh, if you're familiar with Objective C there is a, a rhyme and reason for this alright so as we've established in our header file we've declared our action now we're gonna tell the action what it's gonna do and so as you can see here, we've got an IB action, which is the button click that we've assigned. We've given it an ID, and uh, we've assigned it on the user interface. And so now we're going to say sender. Take this string of information 
and put it together and put it in a UI alert view. So the string we've established here and uh, you can see right underneath we've got initiate with format and this is basically what we're going to say in our alert. We're going to say alert and then we're going to say this right here is going to be our alert text field that we've that we've implemented. So it's going to say alert and then it's going to give us whatever we put in the field as the alert. Here is establishing our UI or user interface alert view establishing that and then we're going to give it a title as well and we're going to say alert and then below that alert you'll see this again um, and right here we're going to actually put a cancel button on there so as uh, as the alert pops up you gotta have the user uh, either cancel it dismiss it or we can add uh, options in the future cancel button we're just going to say dismiss so you can dismiss the alert and not worry about it other button titles that's where we could have uh, different options for them to click uh, maybe send in an email send to uh, send to your IT department as a alert that something's wrong as of now for this tutorial we're just gonna choose nil and uh, leave no other button titles on there and then down below you can see alert show we've got a string release and alert release basically we're optimizing our app application so we don't keep stuff in the memory logs um, jammed up with stuff that we don't need to keep uh, keep going. Last thing that we're going to do is we're going to release our alert text um, down here under the void allocate. Again, a little bit further than than most in the tutorial series. So, but I want to give you an understanding of how the how the interface works, the alert, etc. All right, so we've got that all developed. We've got it in our header, our implementation, and then attached to our user interface here in the different ways. Now we're just going to run it, and uh, I'll show you exactly what we've done with our application with the alert so far. As that's loading, I'm going to blow it up for you guys. All right, and so there we go. And so as you can see, we can put in information here into our text field. And then we can click the action. And there we go. We've got alert. And alert is the title. And then we've got alert, comma, and then the, uh, the information that was in this box here, the text field. And then again, we've got a dismiss button. And like I said, we can have other title buttons that you could click and uh, send information give them a little bit more user interface and that's what we'll get into next as far as how to actually give them some options and what it means to them so again uh, if you're a little bit lost you know send us an email let us know what you're lost with we can go forward with uh, figuring out how we get how we can help you guys best alright peace out